guys, today we'll be doing paper 6 alternative practical, the test code is 0620, and let's begin. <clears throat> Chloride crystal and solid zinc oxide. Um, okay, so first we add the zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is a solid, a powdered solid, so we use spatula. And we warm a mixture using, using Bunsen burner. We can't use a kettle because... This kettle is not for chemicals. How all the dilute hydrochloric acid has reacted except to no more zinc. Zinc oxide can be dissolved in the solution. Because if it has all reacted, there'd be no H plus ions left and therefore nothing could be dissolved. Uh, excess to go over the standard mass. So you have a standard mass and you go over it. <clears throat> How it moves, you use filtration. How the crystal is obtained. So first, we have three marks for this one, so we need three things. First, we heat the solution up. Heat the solution up to crystal uh, evaporating point. We crystal, uh, crystallize, uh, crystallization, and crystallization point, and then we we leave, we dry the crystals after. But the method would be different if the carbonate we use zinc oxide. So we don't need to heat up. No need for Bunsen burner heating up. A student investigate the reaction of magnesium ribbon and sodium hydrochloric concentration I H H I J and K. Uh, the time taken. So we read the time. So we just read the time in here. Let's see what the time is. This is second. This is minutes. So we have, what is this? 15 seconds, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 seconds. The second one, we let's read together. Here's 15, here's 30 seconds, 31, 32, 30, 34 seconds. In here, we have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seconds. And for this one, I believe it is 30, 35, 36, 37, 38 seconds. So we plot the, resu the result in a smooth line graph. Okay, plot the result on the grid, draw a smooth line graph. Time taken, so we use one of our graph making function. Okay, now we just input our values. Put in our values. We have 20, so how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, so I'm going to make it 40 seconds each. Uh, 12 divided by 4, 3, 3 each. Time taken for the magnesium differently. So we input our seconds here. 10, 20, 30, 40. And now we read. First, we have 20 seconds. 20, uh, 20 seconds and 20... 
the concentration is two. Okay, so here, so we would have it over here. Sec uh, uh, 1.5 and 34 seconds. So where is 1.5? 34 seconds would be here. 34. It would be a bit down. And our third one is 1 and so it's 8 seconds. 1 and 8 seconds. I'm not sure how this would work out as a smooth line graph. <laughs> and 0 0.5 is in 38 seconds. 0.5, 38. Okay, so how are we going to do this with a smooth line graph? It's so scattered. Let's see what the park scheme would draw. Best fit smooth line graph between plotted points. I would say this is a very, very inaccurate uh, graph, but this is uh, it's done in a very quick time. In your real exam, I uh, I advise you to take your time drawing graphs because it could be, um, because the prettier your graph is, the more you would get the mark, the more chance you would get good marks. For your graph, completely if zero one two point five, so it's about thirty three seconds. So we're gonna put thirty three seconds here, based on the graph that I drew. Um, use the graph that you draw and you deduce the sec uh, deduce the number. What was the same length of magnesium used in experiment two for accuracy? We always use the same length for accuracy. Ribbon said uh, length 0.5 was easy. It would dissolve quicker because it was shorter. So effect on it would use fifty lining off. Shorter because it was a uh, shorter time because it is a shorter ribbon. Check our answer. Lower because less magnesium is used. Such as a different method to experience to get a reaction between magnesium ribbon and dilute hydrochloric acid. We could um, <clears throat> because Mg plus HCl, you know what we would make? MgCl and H, MgCl2, 2HCl here, and H, H2. Perfect. So here we could use something called a gas syringe. We call it, we call it gas gas syringe when the magnesium ribbon is dropped in HCL we measured um, time Time for H uh, H two H two gas to fill syringe. See how would they work it? Yeah, gas syringe over a long time with mass. Perfect. So, how what type of chemical alteration occurs when chemical ribbon dilute hydrochloric acid in? We just did the reaction. So the gas chemical reaction occurs. <clears throat> Is a neutralization neutralization chemical is it neutralization is it neutralization yeah it is no it's not neutralization happens between chemical reaction occurs when magnesium ribbon x uh, reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid so we have mg we plus hcl so this would create a displacement reaction because here i'm going to use my written function will create a displacement reaction because as we know um, Mg displace H to get MgCl2 and H2 and uh, displacement reaction and the, the gas produced is obviously H2 two substance ammonium sulfate
tests were done on solid L and solid M. Okay. Ammonium sulfate hydrated, so it has water and appearance to be a white. It'd be white. Let's see if it's white. Yeah, white solid crystal. Observation. So as we know, this is a um the first portion heated and gas produced with cobalt chloride paper. So as we know, the word hydrated means has water, right? So it turns from blue to pink. <clears throat> blue to hydrated. Let's see how much more we could obtain. Uh, condensation drops, turns from blue to pink. Yes. A second portion with acid distilled water. The mixture is shaken to dissolve solid L and solute uh, an excess of aqueous sodium hydroxide. Okay. <clears throat> we plus it with. Oh my. The pen is not penning. Okay, so we have this. We would make um, NH3, NH3 water and NAS. Okay, so observation would be that red litmus paper turns blue. Because we, as we know, um, ammonia is an alkaline substance. Okay, the dilute nitric acid, barium nitrate, it will create a white precipitate. Because as we know, barium sulfate is a this insoluble white precipitate. <clears throat> okay. Oh, if it's red brown, then I believe solid M red brown precipitate forms it would be um iron three because iron two is green and iron three is red brown always red brown azurite is an ore with copper which contains no aluminum okay how to show a sample of how copper would obtain a la large lump of azurite okay we provide with large lump of azurite, so we have um, the apparatus. Would have we would have um, for reaction of an ore. I think we should use first. We use we react this. We thermal decompose it. We react to make it to C C U. We thermal deact it. 